American horror, if you look at it, you see how I'm slipping the knowledge in there. Mm. Yes, there's drama. You want drama. Women fighting and they doing this and they said this and and, 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 and the pageant and all. Hey guys, just a short update. I had bumped into Nature Boy on another jail call. Um, it's basically a hypnosis and a brainwashing, a reprogramming and so forth that he is trying to on a daily basis now that he has figured out how he can be part of the the platform and, you know, getting the girls where they need to be, which is stuck with no plan B, he's going to drill in their head, but he's going to make it seem like he's talking to the audience, but he's really trying to keep them programmed. He wants to keep them in like a hypnotic state so that they don't leave him like the other disciples have left him. Now, the only I thing you ever had was your black man. Mm -hmm. The black man, woman, and child is a nation. And if you don't, you're not in your righteous role in the family, if you haven't established, if your man hasn't established himself as a king and sovereign, and you don't know your role as the woman in that family with money here right now, all you people out there with all this money and you like, oh, now, yeah, Now, I yeah. did record some of the rants because he did a couple of rants today, but the recording dropped. I don't know what's going on, but the recording had dropped, but I did manage to uh, basically hear him, all-time classic, doing the uh, hypnotic and the brainwashing and the reprogramming to these women that he's going to continue to do. so he can control them from a distance because he can't control them physically uh, from where he's at. So he's going to have to do it with words. Um, and it's really sad that they're not given a chance to really sit with themselves because even though there's more time in the day for them to sit with themselves, once they get a daily dose of what Nature Boy has to offer, they are just done for, for that day at least. Um, it's like I said, it's like he, they're under hypnosis. And it's really sad that he's not allowing them time to heal, to regroup from all of the horrible things that Nature Boy was doing to them over there and let them make the decision on their own if they want to support him going forth. He's not allowing them the option to do that. He's trying to use them as uh, his directs, not even as his wives, who will work with the robots, I robot, right? I robot. It's about artificial, artificial intelligence taking over and destroying humanity, right? Because the technology gets so smart that it realizes that humans and the way they're living upon the earth are actually viruses, and it tries to take out the virus so that the human so that humanity can survive. And that's what that's what these, that's the that's what Elon Elon uh, Musk is saying. Basically, that AI is going to be um, a danger in the future because it's going to figure out that we're a virus and then it's going to take wow. us out. You know what I'm saying? Who will because recruit other women. So if that time does come that they all flee and leave him hanging, he'll still have Keys, his manager, and then he'll have, you know, uh, the women that his wives, a.k.a. the Carbonation Girls, have recruited over the time that they were there that could help with Canteen phone money and uh other necessities that nature boy needs in order to get through this bid that he's most likely gonna have to do themselves really separate from humanity which makes them hell because heaven is a constant communion with god right mm -hmm. it's to be in communion with god a constant communion with god but if you're saying that nature is separate from humanity and that god is separate from humanity you have now separated yourself from humanity and made, made nature your enemy, and that's why we are destroying nature, and our whole civilization is based upon this, and we're living in insanity in everything that we're doing. This is not how black men did it. This is not how, this is not how our original information was. But it's really sad that he's trying to suck the little bit of life that is still in these women out of them. I feel as though by the time they do finally get the message, if they even get it, 
it'll be too late. And again, you know, we already know once they go back home, their families are going to continue to take care of their children until they probably seek some type of counseling. You don't put these women back into the world and put children into their hand knowing what they've been subjected to. We don't know if the pressures of being a mother again um, could take a toll on them, those pressures, and they could do something to their child because of their mental they state. Up. They call us love uh, flip-flops. But it was entertaining. People can't stop looking. They can't watch, stop watching. I knew how to get their attention so I could slip the motherfucking knowledge in there. Mm-hmm. That's psychology 101. First of all, people, you got to get people to listen to you. So I've been able to make an impact and have an impact and get people's attention and, and, and cause a lot of hate. Why? Because uh, anyone who is subjecting themselves further, like they are doing, to riding for Nature Boy, when you know that Nature Boy is not in jail because he's innocent, you know that there's got to be some deep-seated issues going on with these women. Um, and they're definitely not ready to just leave carbonation go back home to their families and do their motherly duties right off the bat. They're going to have to go through extensive counseling. And uh, in some cases, maybe they might have to get on some medication. They must be suffering from some sort of PTSD. I mean, I've been listening to Solar for the last couple of days, and he has been sounding way different than he did at the beginning. It was almost like he was trying to, drag us along for the ride, but not telling us in full detail what was actually going on, what these women were really subjected to behind closed doors. And like I had said before, and what I'm discovering and confirming to be what it is from Trey963 and Solar, that you guys only seen a portion, even though we saw a lot of what he recorded, he seemed to be on social media. There's a whole bunch of upheaval about the things I'm saying and doing, but guess what? I'm relevant. Why? Because the shit I'm saying is true. And behind all of this, you have Eligio Bishop, who is actually like Tyler Perry, right? Not Mama Dia. Well, not Madea, right? Where you see people like, oh, you know, when you see Tyler Perry, you think, oh, that's Madea. No, that's Tyler Perry. That's, he's an actor. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? You talk to me, you get to know me, you're like, oh, that's that's a Leo right there. Mm-hmm. He's an artist, he's a psychologist, and an artist of every intelligent man. Social media, mm-hmm. Nature Boy, all the time, sharing his business. That's how he um, played us. He sidetracked us by thinking that we already saw the awful, horrific um, stuff. He, he He made it seem like he was being transparent, and he put it out there what he was doing. But behind closed doors, it was far worse. And that's why, if you notice, out of the men and the women, the men fled the scene when they had the opportunity before the women did. Very intelligent. But he knows how to get the attention of his people. Because he's a messenger. You know, the universe or God or what you call it has raised up a prophet from the people by the people, for the people. The women are still there, and he's probably gassing their head up, Nature Boy is, saying that you're strong. You're definitely stronger than the men that I had under my teaching. Not knowing that's game. That's the narcissist lingo in game, you know, trying to gas somebody's head up, making them feel special so you can continuously, on a daily basis, until the well runs dry use and abuse these women from afar and they're not going to look at it as abuse because we're looking at women that were subjected to physical abuse where they had to heal their bodies had to heal from physical abuse so now that they're uh, uh in safe hands and he's you know somewhere else and he can't abuse them they're not looking at that they should get out and you know, now's a good time to get out because now he's locked up and you have time to sit with yourself and see that this is not where it's at. They're looking at it like, you know, it's not so bad because these women are in denial. And that that, that is really scary because I feel as though they're in denial because they're not being abused physically anymore. 
and they have learned from what I have observed to uh like almost sort of forget about the bad times. Even though where are the good times? Can they even name or call any out? I doubt it. Because I guess when you are in a toxic situation for so long, that's all you know. It becomes the norm. Um, these girls got to get out of this being the norm. Get from underneath this hypnosis like True did. He was last of the Mohegan on the male side to leave, but he finally had got enough and he left. And hopefully, you know, there's an expiration date for these women as well. Zoka had a fallout with Malia, but what I don't understand um, that she doesn't realize, if you really did leave, and that's not a made-up story, you do have the strength and the power to leave permanently. You just have to believe in yourself, not nature boy, and remove yourself from this equation. Or if you don't, it's just going to keep repeating itself. Nature boy can't be held down forever. And if you stay stuck in that hypnotic state when he gets out, because you haven't showed him anything different, because you're letting him know that you are acceptant of being abused, used and abused, he's going to continue to do it. When people tell you who they are, when people show you who they are, you must believe them.